Hi everyone, Lens Manos here. Welcome to episode, what are we at, 37 of Modular Mayhem. Uh, today I thought we'd go and fight the dragon. Um, I've done a couple of things in between. Now I've been dabbling with Chromaticraft trying to unlock the next part that I need to do, you know, the next steps of progression and I haven't been able to, but I noticed in the book there's a um, there's an unlock when you go to the end. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's uh, let's do the the dragon fight, and hopefully that will unlock what I need. Uh, one thing I have also done is I got the quarry running, the magical quarry, and it's sitting over here at the moment. It's um, it's different. You will get uh, the the potion effect if you get near it. Uh, once this finishes, I, I, I had it over here and I just sort of ran it without any add-ons and um, I'm currently running it just hooked up to the bottom of this um, sunlight uh, generator so it only runs when it's daytime pretty much but I don't know, I, I don't think it picks up any what was going on there? I don't think it picks up any modded items I don't, I think it only picks up vanilla and that's a bit of a problem um, in that there's a lot of modded items, a lot of you know um, world gen stuff here and I don't believe it picks any of it up. And you can see here this has got I think it's nine add-ons, uh, nine range expansions and this is the size it does. So you can see here it's um, it's fairly quick I mean obviously it has a, a build-up of power that it can store uh, and you know it works it works for a while and then obviously once it runs out of power it, it stops running but um, it does all right so in preparation for the fight I've a I've got my power fist on me and I've added um, the two of the weapons one's the rail gun and the other's the plasma charge or something like that so the rail gun is pretty awesome um, except you get a lot of knockback but it generally one-shots most creatures um, with the benefit that it actually can take out an enderman in two shots and they can't avoid the um, projectile which is pretty cool you can see how much knockback he got so I figured that was a, a good thing to take with me I haven't done much with the phaser rifle it's, I don't know, I may end up just using the uh, projectiles from this uh, currently charging up one of my batteries over here so I better collect that before we go I have found the I found the stronghold and I think I'm missing two ender eyes so I should probably grab them now I have ender I have the blaze one. Oh, I need another blaze. So that'll just take a second. Uh, one other thing I've, well, I guess two other things I've added to this. I added uh, power storage to my helmet because uh, I just didn't have any in there. I have added this here, the liquid nitrogen cooling, so that I, I now get no issues when I go into a, a desert before without this. If I went into the desert, I'd actually overheat and catch on fire. So, comes in handy. Uh, yeah. So down here is what we got. We got the plasma cannon, and I've got it cranked up to max, which doesn't quite do what I what I hoped. I was hoping for big holes, seeing as this whole I don't know 500m creeper. I was hoping that was a big explosion. And railgun. Railgun's the one I've got going. It probably takes up a lot of power, but yeah, I don't care. Let's see. Link drive would be interesting. So yeah, I think I think I'm at the point where one I could do with charging my helmet. I think it probably just drain that battery. Let's just go and charge my helmet before we leave. Oop, lag. Helmet off. Just gonna throw it on there stand on this little charge pad at the same time 
and charge everything else from inventory. So yeah, we'll get that uh, that last eye vendor done and cleaned up most of my inventory. I'm currently trying to get wither skulls so I can fight the wither because I want to get these are great and all, but I'd rather have uh, a flight ring just to make things a little easier. I know that's not going to happen for this episode, but why not? And then I may change over to the other modular armor. Just, I don't know, something different. So this can hold what? 4 million RF. Really? No, 1 1.2, 1.2, 2.9. Maybe I crank that up a bit high. You can hold 4.3. That's impressive. I don't need that much power. Right, let's get this last eye vendor. Sleep through the night. Where is it? No, right, it's Borrowth and Blaze. Thank you. Pretty sure it was two. Uh, I'll throw that back in there for now. What other food do I have? Some steak. Take that with us. I know I've got these here, but oh, look at that. That's that's empty already. So maybe it wasn't a good idea to have the uh, the helmet with full charge. I might just drop that back down. You can obviously you can adjust power levels in here. Let's bring him down a bit. Bring him down about two. That'll do. Should be fairly close to full then. I've got one of two. Maybe I brought the power levels down a bit far, but I'll leave it at that. Should be plenty. <laughs> Famous last words. Mm. On you go. No, not that. Oh, and you can see here we've got four letters of the uh, wind's name now, so we're slowly getting along. Um, shouldn't be too much. <laughs> That's what am I talking about? Should be each before we get that. I still come in here all the time and type in wind and any that are in here I'll lease. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure whether there's a particular number you have to open or or what. But well, that straight drain. <laughs> that capacity is empty too. Powered armor. Gotta love it. So um, a couple of you have responded to my um, my re I guess my request in the previous episode about which pack to do next and. Um, I, obviously there's still plenty to do in this pack um, and as I've said I haven't done what do we got here I haven't really done any engineers toolbox I don't know whether I haven't I've only just touched galactic craft I haven't found the moon boss or any of that sort of stuff I haven't even touched I haven't got anywhere near hydraulic craft so there's still plenty to do. There's still heaps in uh, Chromaticraft to do. There's still a, I think it has its own dimension as well. Uh, there's also the dimension for uh, Essential Craft. So there's still plenty to do. I'm just at that point where I'm kind of lacking a little bit of direction. I've, I've got some ideas of what I want to do, but um, yeah, I guess not not fully fleshed out. So. It's it's the reason I, I guess I started my channel with a with a HQM pack is that you know it gave me that direction, it, it told you what you had to do pretty much, um, and even just in in general Minecraft, uh, I was getting a little bit uh, a little bit bored of it I guess before the HQM mod came along, 
So it definitely re-spurred my, I don't know, my interest in the game. Um, yeah, so as I said, there's still more to do in here. I just don't know whether I'll be um, releasing episodes in here all the time. There's a there's a few mods that look interesting, a few, a few mod packs that look interesting, um, and at the moment it's kind of a tie between the the revolution pack on the AT launcher and that worldly galaxies that I was that I discussed in the previous episode. Um, revolution <laughs> does have another um, revision coming. There's a revolution two. Uh, which is a, a rewrite pretty much, but it's still in beta and I, I don't really want to do a pack that's in beta or beta, however you would like to say it. Um, just for the whole, you know, not fleshed out. It's the same reason I haven't done the other pickle pack yet, the intergalactic one, in that it's still, it's not release version and there's always that chance that something that the, the pack author um, will change, you know, they'll, they'll change something and you'll need a, a, a reinstall of the world. And I don't really want to go through, part way through a series and then have to reinstall the world. Alright, I think I've rambled enough. Let's, that'll have to do. Let's go fight a dragon. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I think my uh, microphone is affected by the flight too, so sorry if my volume drops a little while I'm flying. Um, not sure why it does that. Probably just a volume thing with with OBS. But let's see here. As I said, two more to go. One, two. Um, for safety's sake. <laughs> Back up the back up the pack. Uh, what do you need? This and this. Alright, it's back up finished. No, nope, still going. There we go. Now you can see I had a bit of fun trying to find this as well. I I, I couldn't get through here. There's there's oil here or something and it's walking around and not just breaking through walls. I mean this this stronghold I've trashed it. You can see bits and pieces everywhere. I've gone through walls left, right, and center. All right, let's go. I'm not scared. Well, maybe a little. All right. The first thing I want to do. Oh, look, I've got an unlock from Chromatocraft. Um, be in the bag somewhere. You see up top right there. There's an unlock here. It should be this evil realm. It's the alien realm one, I think. This one here. Surely nothing can be more alien than that land of lava going. Oop, apparently it can. So I guess now we've got to take out the dragon. This is interesting because this is a painful loss. I have died a couple of times and it hasn't unlocked, so I'm not sure what to do with that. Uh, you can see here there's also one one here for the wither, so that's why I was getting the skulls, because there's these two unlocks which are going to be required. So, yep, that's um, as I was about to say, first thing I want to do is get a bit of end stone and set up this inventory wall so that any end stone I pick up will be warped back to my other dimension. Yep, that worked. I could hear the there's a little pop noise when you uh, when you use it. Uh, what else do we need? So let's work out how to get out here. Oops. Somewhere up here. 
Mr. Dragon. This is starting to fly. Oh, awesome. Take that. Now I've just got to learn how to fly again. You go. Oh. That power gun's pretty good. Almost too easy. <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit too easy. Oh well. I guess the uh Franking it right up to the the max was the right method. So what do we got in the nether? Uh, in the in the end here. Let's turn this off. These ores. Elemental oh yeah, just essential craft ores. Um Okay. Guess that's a custom drop from most of engineering. A little bit of obsidian. Never goes astray. Too bad I don't have vein miner, that'll make things easy. Alright. So pretty sure these just yeah. Same as always. So now you know what I didn't bring? Didn't be a piston or anything. Guess I'll be coming back. Um, I guess downside to doing what I did with that is that I can't pick anything up. So I think I'm going to need to uh, go and get a piston and grab Oh, I can use a torch, can't I? The old method. Hey! Occasionally show some skill with vanilla. Not often. Um, yeah, so I guess not much else to do here. Because <laughs> it's... You know. Let's have a bit of a... Sorry, I turned that on. Yeah, not a lot really left to do, so <laughs> that was fairly quick and painless. Should bring up a, a miner in here. Go nuts with actually. I might have it on me. The one I had on the moon. Hey, miner. Deseract. What else do I need? That. That. So I have cables, got some cables. Uh, probably going to be an issue with piping. Not sure whether I can make it compact. Should have a chunk loader too, actually. Now I might just come back and do it. I, you don't want to see me trying to destroy the the end too much, so let's just jump back into the other world. Go through the uh well whatever that was. Wow that's loud. Alright, there you go. One dragon. So that being said, just dump all this dump this not that. This stuff back in here for now. I have no idea what that is. But let's get rid of some of this. What is this? Oop. Shader sponsor 5615 level. No idea. 
someone that knows what that is, please tell me. I'm a little bit... I don't do a lot of immersive engineering, so... Not 100% sure what that's for. Uh, while I'm here, let's throw this... Oh, you be quiet. Oh, there's another one. Where's your friend? Right, so Criminal Craft Book. Let's have a quick look. What I might need to do is. Fragment. Okay, we've got a few fragments here. Still nothing. I was kind of hoping um, that I would have got an unlock. Or the okay, guess not. So I mean, there's plenty of stuff in here. I've, I've made one of these, made the infusion stand, and I've set it up. I'll show you over here what I've what I've been trying to do. Um, not sure exactly how it works, but I've done a, a bunch of XP gathering, I guess. Um, look, I've got 65 levels on me now. Let's dump that in. Um, so you can see here this this little I guess setup um, is described all the way down the bottom here. Uh, which one is it? Oh, I'm crafting cha charging infusion ring. So it's this one here. Mm -hmm. So it needed um, the table, this little thing here, and then 16 buckets of liquid chroma, which, as I said, it's taken me ages. Um, 16 crystalline stone, 29 stone bricks, and you can see here there's it's fairly fairly simple setup, um, and it's supposed to do this here is supposed to make infusing crystals easier. Uh, where is it? This here. Oh, that's a recipe. So it says. You know, tossing raw shards into pools of chroma uh, is one thing, but purified shards you make to spawn. Uh, so this is a supposed to be to infuse the crystals. So I've done, I've got one here, one boosted guru. So you're putting like, I think it's 16 of the berries from the trees, and then that colour of crystal in. But I haven't. I haven't worked out properly how to do this um, with this setup. Um, the other thing I've done is this one over here, which is the ritual mm. table. It's meant to enable you to be able to unlock um, these things here. But that needs the next level up of this. I've, I've found out after watching a couple of um, fellow YouTubers doing Chromatocraft. Uh, it requires an X level, I believe, because you've got to use the energy from uh, the structures. Sorry about that corruption there. Uh, you've got to use the energy from the actual crystal pylons, and that involves making the repeaters down here. Um, repeater, these things. And at the moment, I don't know how to make this top block. This crystal pylon block. Uh, so that's what I was hoping to unlock by heading to the the end there. But I guess I need to do the wither fight as well, maybe, because that one unlocked the dragon egg, and I don't think that goes anywhere after that, does it? But that also unlocks no whatever's whatever's there. Okay, so. Maybe I need to make this one. Yeah, they're, they're, see, I haven't unlocked these ones yet. But I've, I've done this bit. And I've done this one. I don't see any other things coming over to here. So, I'm not sure. So, I'll, I'll fight the wither. I'll, I'll set it up for the next episode, perhaps, fight the wither. 
and then we'll perhaps try and make this one here which is a little bit in depth. Where is it hiding? In here somewhere. I think it involves actually um, it involves all of the boosted crystals around something. Not not a hundred percent sure. The Metacraft. And there's still world gen that I haven't found out yet, which is interesting. Um tons of pretty blocks in here. Mineral extractor would be interesting and this item fabrication would be pretty cool. But again, that's that's next level stuff. Um Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> this one here, here it is. Uh you can see here it requires Oh, it's not that bad really. One of each. And the binding crystal. So what we might do is just a lens. No. So I don't it doesn't require any runes, so I might just cut real quick. I'll grab all these items and we'll just do that before we wrap up this episode. Um yeah. Be a tick. Alright, after a little bit of muck around, I'm back. Now I had all of them all of the items I needed in here. And you can see all the particle effects everywhere, which is I think well, it's not doing too much to the FPS. Uh, so I put them all in the spots that it says in the book, in the, I guess in the right order. Uh, there it is there. So I put all of these in these spots and I put the one binding crystal in the middle. So if you open up the table in the middle, that's how it's set up. Um, do remember that this table requires the correct direction. Um, up on the crafting grid is north, so you must make sure you... Uh, set all your stuff up north based. So, this one's up there at the moment. I'm pretty sure it goes that way. <laughs> pretty sure that's east and that's that's west over there. Anyway, um, as always, get out your little manipulator and see what happens. Alright, oh, unlocked something. What did we get? Unity of Elements. Gemstone throbs, transmitting energy. Oh, here we go. Multi aura repeater. I think we may have just found a step that we needed. Uh, shift. So that's this one. Multi aura repeater. What does that give me? Hoping. Because. You, you can do repeaters, um, which is those little tower things, and they move your, your energy around. Because uh, next level of this um, mod is you use the energy from the pylons, as I was saying before. So you use the energy from these, uh, and you transmit it down to the the altar here, or this crafting area, and it uses that instead of you having to put runes in the ground and all that sort of stuff. So that unlock that I just got will definitely come in handy. So in here I've got a few more blank fragments. Lumen beacon transmitter. Multi aura repeater. Well that's the construct for it. Casting complex. So that's your next level of casting this thing. Casting complex. You can see them unlocking up in the top corner there. So that was lumen relay. Lumen Beacon, Crystal Repeater, haha <laughs> there's the repeater, and there we go, I think that's where we're up to. So I guess my next step is trying to, um, oh, got to put them in the book first, shift right click, and you can't shift click them in which is a pain, oops, alright, so what did that do in here? Not sure if that's unlocking anything in this, oh here we go, transmitting energy. So, 
you've got to have line of sight and I guess it goes up to 48 blocks I, I do believe there is uh, energy drop oh, there you go look so range is 32 blocks sorry and they are made with a crystal core what gives us 16 a whole bunch of uh, runes and well, it looks like I need eight boosted Tahara crystal shards so I'll have to work on that in between episodes because I know I probably don't have any I don't which one had I boosted Kuro so I'm gonna need to get Tahara which is this one here and I'll need I guess the white berries which I'm not sure if I have yet so that may require a a traipse around to find the white berries but that's that's nothing nothing out of the ordinary I'm sure we can ooh, it zoomed up I'm sure we can find a white tree on our map somewhere and go and hunt it down I think there's a rainbow forest let's go out a bit further Are you sure I had a rain there's one here so I can always ooh, head over there that's a crash ship uh, this is from Matter Overdrive. They, um, it, it's World Genie's um, ships that actually look a little bit like Iskandar's crash landing ship. Uh, one of them does. Uh, so that's World Genie. Oh, we've got the Rainbow Forest here too. So I might in the next episode we might take a trip over here and I'll show you this this ship. If I didn't destroy, I know I destroyed one, but I think that was down here somewhere. So we'll call this the end of the episode here, um, do a little bit more in between, as I said I'll get the, the crystals I require to, to do this repeater and we'll work on possibly getting uh, maybe just the energy from this one over here, we'll work out a way of bouncing it around to get so it's over here at this um, complex and maybe look at upgrading it to the next tier. So as always thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. See you later.